Today we're making basic white bread in a bread maker. You don't have to have this exact same model. Any standard bread maker that holds a two pound loaf of bread will work. No need to write anything down. I will have an ingredients list towards the end of this video. If you are interested in this exact same bread maker, I'll put a link down below. We're gonna pop the top, take out the bread pan, make sure the paddle is on the bottom and ready to go. It also pops off like this for easy cleaning. We're gonna load up the bread pan in this specific order. We're gonna start off with one and a half cups of room temperature water, three tablespoons of unsalted salted butter, room temperature, and cut up into small half inch pieces. I'm using salted butter, but I don't think it really matters here. Next, we're going to add in one tablespoon of sugar or one tablespoon of honey. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Next, we're going to cover this with four cups of bread flour. I like to use white lily bread flour. On top of the flour goes one fourth cup of non-fat dry milk and one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. This is what I use. You can find it in the baking aisle at your local Walmart and it comes in a pack of three. We're just gonna place it right on top like so. And that's all we need. Take your bread pan back to your bread maker, lock it in place. The bread maker keypad settings are very user friendly. Once you plug in the bread maker, it's automatically set up for basic white bread on the biggest bread loaf setting, which is two pounds, exactly what we're making. The only thing we might wanna change is the crust color. We have three options, light, medium, and dark crust. I've gone with the medium a ton of times and recently switched to light so we're gonna go with light today then hit start and we're gonna leave this alone for three hours and 25 minutes we'll take a quick sneak peek though yay look at that we're making bread for this particular bread maker it's gonna notify me twice during the baking process the first notification lets me know it's time to add in any extra add-ins like raisins or nuts if I want to add those into my bread but not today the second notification lets me know if I want to remove the paddle attachment before the baking process starts and yes we're gonna take that out today I don't want a paddle shaped indent in my fully baked bread it's not a big deal though I have left it in before, reshape your dough ball and toss it back into your bread maker. Close the lid and it will resume where it left off. Look at that fresh bread and it smells so good. Everything including the handle is piping hot so be careful. Unplug your bread maker, grab a knife and lift the handle up just enough so that you can grab it with an oven mitt. Unlock it from the bottom with a twist. I like to turn it out onto my countertop, just dump it out, it's fine. And there you have it, a nice, beautiful loaf of bread. I'm not even gonna wait for it to cool down. We're just gonna slice right into it. My husband loves the end pieces. Those are always his favorite. Make sure you've got plenty of butter on hand. Look at that nice slice of bread. The smell is amazing. Here's the hole on the bottom of the loaf. If we didn't take out the paddle, we would be looking at a paddle-shaped hole instead. <laughs> Let's rip one apart. Nice texture, absolutely delicious. Be sure to slather this with butter. <laughs> if you're interested, I will insert an ingredients list right here. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.